LDBC, this is your boy Coach Sheldon Harrison. You're live, live, live on the Coach Sheldon Harrison Combat Sports Show Live. I told y'all, I told y'all this fight would go down the way I told you it would, and that's just the way that is. Folks, um, King Rayner versus Cindy Dandewa. You know, King Rayner had been beating up everybody in Japan. That's, that's what she do, you know, she beat them up. And the fights over there, King Rayner is not like a bad fighter. But I knew that, you know, this was a step up in competition for King Rayner. And people kept saying, nah, man, King Rayner going to get in there and murk Cindy Dandois. And I'm like, you know, people don't really understand how tough Battle Cat is. Like, people don't know. I know we make fun of Battle Cat. I know we pick at Battle Cat. We call her Soccer Mom. I know, but deep down, everybody that calls Battle Cat Soccer Mom, they know that this girl, this girl can grapple. Okay, there's no doubt about it that, gra- that Battle Cat can grapple. She's good on the ground. But I was thoroughly shocked, y'all, when I saw Battle Cat using a jab in this fight. And, you know, it, uh, her, her, her striking don't look great. Uh, it don't. It's not pretty. It's not a pretty thing to watch, man. But I will, you know, give her props, man. She stuck the jab out there. She kept it in King Rainer's face. And she used her jab to try to set up her takedowns. Now, the announcers didn't know a whole lot about Cindy Dandewar. They didn't know a whole lot at all. And they kept telling, you know, saying that, well, Cindy shouldn't try to take down King Rainer because King Rainer is, is a judoka. And, you know, it's not going to work. And I'm like, they, they really don't know who Cindy Dandois is. Like, they, they, they had no clue. So Dandois, you know, went in for a takedown. And uh, King Rainer tried to do a judo hip toss. And Cindy Dandois stopped that crap, man. And she took King Rainer down in the first round. Uh, Cindy Dandois did a good job. She dominated, you know, the first round completely. And I was like, okay. What is she going to do when she gets uh, King Rayner to the ground? And King Rayner, I mean, I'm sorry, uh, Cindy Dandois did not do what she did against Alexis Davis. She actually, you know, she was throwing punches. She was throwing a couple of elbows, you know. And she was actually getting in some some faint ground and pound on King Rayner. So she won round one, hands down, no problem. Now, round two, I gave it uh, I gave it to King Rayner. Um, Cindy Dandois tried to come in, and King Rayner finally landed that hip toss. She landed it. But I just, I just didn't think that King Rayner did anything. Like, she got Cindy Dandois down. But see, guys, this is why I can tell you, I can point out, like, fighters that know how to use the guard. Cindy Dandois, man, her guard, she stifled any kind of damage that King Rayner tried to do. And, uh, you know, King Rayner tried, man. She couldn't she couldn't get off on Cindy Dandois. She couldn't. And then, you know, Dandois, you know, started suffocating the air. An old trick where she kept putting her hand over Rayner's mouth. Then she started taking her legs and wrapping her around, you know, King Rayner's head. And she spent the whole fight suffocating Rayner. So it's like Rayner couldn't breathe, man. And you can tell, man, that that took a lot out of King Rayner. I mean, Dandois pretty much did what she could do within her capabilities of a fighter. You know, she did it. Round three, you know, King Rayner, boy, I was like, man. Okay, King Rayner started to round off. Cindy tried to go in, and King Rayner again hit her with that judoka hip throw. But this time, Cindy Dandois, uh, she rolled her hips out toward the ropes, and then she was able to, you know, stand back to her feet. And then King Rayner kept trying to get Cindy Dandois back on the ground. Kept trying to get her back on the ground. She couldn't get her back on the ground. Um, Cindy Dandois made uh, King Rayner actually be a good striker. And uh, I, I, I got to admit, King Rayner, her striking was a lot better. And I'm kind of shocked that she didn't try to, to keep going with that. Because uh, Cindy Dandois, you know, was the weaker fighter. King Rayner was strong. She could have, like, did takedown defense and just stayed in striking mode. And she could have won this fight easily. But, you know, Battle Cat was able to get in on the inside. And, well, no, not in the third round. Battle Cat reversed it. She stood back up. And then uh, she did two great takedowns. And these weren't just takedowns where she fallen on top. She actually took down King Rayner. And King Rayner hit her head against the mat. And I think that took a lot out of her. And then, so, Amisha uh, Tate, they said, hey, don't let her back up. But this was very ingenious by Cindy Dandois. Cindy, you know, uh, actually let King Rayner back up on her feet. And then Cindy took her down again to secure the round. And, and I kind of saw it then. I didn't understand first because I was like, why would she let this woman up? But she let her back up so she can score another takedown is what she did. And uh, Cindy didn't know I hit a good takedown. But, um, you know, she wasn't throwing any elbows. And that's because, you know, girl was fatigued. Cindy was fatigued in that third round. If this would have been a five-round fight, I think King Rayner probably would have ended up stopping her because uh, uh, King Rayner staggered Cindy Dandois, you know, twice in the second round, man. And she staggered her again in the third round with a beautiful overhand right, man. And I'm like, God, why is King Rayner trying to grapple with this woman? Don't grapple with Cindy Dandois. Don't try to play her game. On the ground, that's Cindy Dandois' game. That's where she lives. She breathes on that ground. And, you know, King Rayner tried to play the game and she lost. And, uh, <laughs> but I, I knew Dandois was going to come in and win this fight. I knew she was going to win it. 
And I, I kept telling people, this is a step up for King Rainer. It's a step up. This ain't some of these opponents that you can go in there and intimidate and, you know, just, you know, do this. This wasn't Crystal Stokes. No, this was a certifiable grappler. Okay, this is a certifiable person that can wrestle with BJJ skills. It's Cindy Dandois. Okay. Well, I bet the announcers now, I bet they know who she is now. Congratulations to Cindy Battlecat Dandois for defeating King Rainer. Split decision. This is your boy, Coach Shelton Harrison. I'm done. What are you guys waiting on? Subscribe to the best women's MMA platform on YouTube.